Welcome back, everyone. Thank you guys for visiting us again and sharing our day. I would like to say a quick prayer before we get started. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for giving us my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Thank you for the gifts of life and of rest. Thank you for today's opportunities and tests. In whatever I face today, Lord, you are with me. Lord, I praise you for your grace, your mercy, and your love. I look forward to experiencing those things today. In Jesus Christ's name, amen, amen. If you like our videos, please like, share, and subscribe. Back to school time. Me and dad are having our physicals this morning at St. Vincent. This is a beautiful, beautiful hospital. Y'all, I'm gonna show y'all this beautiful, beautiful statue. This beautiful statue. And this beautiful. This is, this is one of the main reasons I like coming downtown in Jacksonville. It is just, I like this hospital. I like the little bistro. You can order food if you choose to. Yeah. But this is a million dollar view right here. This is the St. John's River. And you guys, it is a beautiful day out here today. It is beautiful. I have to see the radiologist today at Cancer Center, uh, North Florida uh, Cancer Specialist. So they have the Riverside office where they have the radiation. And I have to go in and see the radiation doctor this time. So, yep. This is where I did my radiation treatment for breast cancer. And you guys, I used to come out here every day because I was here every day for radiation treatment. And look at this beautiful, beautiful view. It's just absolutely breathtaking. Let's see if I can get a close up picture for y'all. Look at that water, how it moves. It's just so surreal. But yep, anyway, it's time to go in and check in for my appointment. And my husband is already gone to check in for his appointment. And yep, let's see what the doctors tell us today. We should be in very good health. So you guys, I'll pick y'all up when we leave from out here. I just wanted y'all to see how beautiful it was.
since we have left the hospital. Here's my sweetheart. How you doing today, sweetheart? Doing good, baby. Yeah, we're going to have try this new Mexican burrito place. It's called Lola's. I think it's gonna be over there, baby, to your uh right, to your left. Yep, it is called Lola's, and that's where we're going to have lunch today. Ooh, they got a Thai place here. Daniel would love to go there. The Thai, Thai King. See, that is Lola's burrito joint. So, you can pop right here. Yep. Y'all, they have some beautiful, beautiful churches around this area. Yep, that's where we're going today. We're going to Lola's Burrito Joint. they supposed to have wonderful burritos here. And it's called Lola's. Yep, this is a nice little place. It's the Lola's Burrito Joint. I'm gonna try the, uh oh fish tacos okay this is oh, look up there oh that's cute hey my husband doing? warned me to plug it up but this is lola's burrito joint we had excellent food you guys we had uh i had the fish tacos he had a loaded burrito it was so delicious you guys and uh these are the specials that they have they have like uh margaritas on mondays and you get a percentage off of them and then on tuesdays they have taco tuesdays you get a dollar off and you guys so if y'all ever visit in jacksonville florida visit lola's burrito joint it was all that, y'all. And on their website, here is like a map where you can find them. It's in the Riverside area. And this is the address. And this is the phone number. You guys, it was oh so good. Hey, guys. All my chickens died. All the babies died. Uh, we don't know what happened to them. They just died. Maybe they were not uh, heated properly. Uh, we had them in the house, you know, they needed a heat lamp, so they died. So my honey is taking me today to buy more chickens. What you say, baby? Yeah, I'm going to take them to buy some more chickens and get as many as she needs. Woo, I can get many as I like. <laughs> so you guys, come on, hang out with us today. We're going to several places to buy some chickens. Not track the supply. Ready to go in now. Enjoy the day. Y'all, we are going to check this lady out to see if she has any chicks, any baby chicks, and just to see what she has. So, yeah, let y'all know once we get here. You guys. I hope she have baby chicks today. I really, really do. It's not that many people out here at the flea market so far after the hurricane. Blank was a five or three for twenty. Ooh, seven dollar hats. Yeah. Baby, you see hats you right, like? The blank was over there five. I do. Nice hats. Wonderful hats. Yeah. How y'all doing today? 
You guys, in this box that my husband is pushing, we had, you remember the big black chicken in the cage? We, the hen, we actually traded our chicken, Lily, which is a giant meat bird, for this black one. And he's kind of big. She's kind of big also. So we're going to take him home. And then we're going to bring Lily back to her. And then you guys stay with us because I'm going to Standard Feed to buy some baby chicks. Get Lily for this one. We're going home to get Lily. And this is our... Ooh, woo, woo, get him, get him, get him. Hey, you guys. We're back at Ramona Flea Market. We brought lily we traded lily for our new hen because lily is a meat bird and she's extremely huge and um th what i'm being told is they don't live very long so what we doing is we're gonna trade hey y'all we're gonna trade lily for the new black hen we already took the new black hen home now we are getting out lily this wonderful lady here at the chicken uh, place. We always trade our chickens. Yep, my husband had to change his pants. The other chicken, we took him, he got out. We had to chase him. My husband rang him like a king. And this is Lily, everybody. I can see her through the hole. Y'all see Lily, she get ready to go to her new home. Yep, we're bringing Lily to her new home, y'all. She's a big meat bird. I'm just showing Lily's home going. How did the truck and the chicken flew out of there? Did you get her? Yeah. Wow. That's what took us so long. I want to see Lily. Lily, you going? Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, she huge. That's we had a meat chicken. Yeah, we had a hunter down. Lily. Oh. See you, Lily. You, you guys, I am headed to a um, store called Standard Feed. And I am going to look for some more baby chicks over there because I have got a total of maybe eight chickens from Tractor Supply. Four of them died and three of them, uh, the baby chicks, you know, Panther got a hold of them. So I am going to uh, 
standard feed to see what type of chickens that they have y'all I, I i am a chicken mama proud chicken mama so um i am going to get these chickens and i have a new cage for them and i also have a heat light you know but the chickens i got from Tr tractor supply the last four they were extremely little they shouldn't have been taken from their mom so early and you know even though i had them under a heat light you know in the room i kept them warm out of the rain and it still was um it still was tough to keep them alive and i gave them electrolytes and uh grain but it was a lot to keep them alive y'all Sorry if y'all bouncing up and down. The road is a little bit bumpy today. So yeah. You guys. So we're going to head to a Standard Feed. This is another feed store that's located here in Jacksonville, Florida. And I am going to take y'all along with me. They have baby chicks in the baby chickens. Oh, they do have the silkies. Let's see, they have the little silkies. Oh, they're big. The Polish. And those are the silkies. Silkies have a little funny feather on top. Then they have these, aren't they beautiful? They're all up under the heat light. Oh, look at these beautiful little ducks. So we have to see, look at the baby ducks. These are the gold metal ducks. Hi, guys, we're at uh, Standard Feed. This young man here, his handsome self, he taking me back. <laughs> He's taking me back to see the older hens that they have instead of the younger chickens. I am looking for some like teenagers. I got a customer that wanted the same thing for one thing. All right. How old were these hens back here in a second? Okay, all of them are 14 weeks. All righty. So, you guys, this is our choice. Oh, they are beautiful. What what kind of chickens are those? Sweet cool. Now, they're not roosters. They're, you, I need hens. Um, can somebody um, check a breed back here? On my way. 
All right. While he coming, I'm gonna get us some. Look at these. I just got rid of one of my meat chickens today. Oh, you ain't got. I'm just being. You you even got turkeys. Wow. Look at that. A little bit dark back here, everybody, but hey, we see you. What are those, turkeys? No, I'm in the second. Guineas? Oh, wow. Wow. Do they get along with other chickens? I wonder if those are roosters. All right. All right, you guys. I have two black slurps. And this is what they look like. I have two of those. I have two Easter eggers. Y'all see that sign? Easter eggers. And this is what they look like. This nice young man got them for me. And I have two of the barred, barred rocks. And that's what they look like. So yeah. We're gonna go ahead and purchase these. And golden lace wild. Thank you, sir. I'm gonna go get my purse. I to do it. been waiting to eat. Get the babies. Hello, little ones. Hello, little ones. We have five little ones. Let's bring this out so you guys can see them. All right, you guys, these are our new chickens, and they're doing very well. So let's go inside, and we're going to cook the stroganoff, you guys. I'm making it from scratch. So, you guys, I appreciate y'all hanging out with me. So let's go inside, and we can make this beef stroganoff from scratch. These are the things that you will need. You will need two to three pounds of ground beef. You will also need one third cup of red wine, two tablespoons of corn starch, one half cup of sour cream. You will also need one half cup of mushrooms, one whole onion, two cups of beef stock, and one cup of heavy cream, one tablespoon of minced garlic, five tablespoons of butter, two tablespoons of parsley, one tablespoon of smoked paprika, one tablespoon of black pepper, one teaspoon of thyme, one teaspoon of oregano, and one half teaspoon of salt. These are the things you need for the beef stroganoff. All right, everyone, it's time to get started. I am using a fettuccine noodle. Uh, I just cut them in half and this is what I'm gonna use, but you can use any type of pasta that you like. Wash and chop all your vegetables up. And then after you chop all your vegetables up, go ahead and take your cornstarch and you wanna mix it in your beef stock or your beef broth. Go ahead and mix that in. And then we're gonna save our red wine. We're gonna take our soy sauce. Go ahead and add that to the beef broth. Now put your onions in your pan and then also add the minced garlic. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna saute this to get it to be like a translucent. Saute it a little bit. Now we're going to add some uh, butter and some of our spices. Save the parsley for last. Go ahead and put all your spices in, but don't put the parsley in right now. Save that. Now go ahead and put your meat in. Make sure you... Uh, Break it down really, really good.
brown your meat. Go ahead and fry or brown your meat. Now add your mushrooms. We have browned our meat, so we're gonna go ahead and start cooking our mushrooms some. This whole process take about 10 minutes. Once you get everything set up, it take about 10 minutes. You know, go ahead and uh, cook the mushrooms in with your meat to get it all broken down so everything will be very good. Your parsley, go ahead and put that in and mix that all together. Break that all down. Mix it up real good. Get everything distributed and incorporated. This is going to be a wonderful beef stroganoff. Very flavorful. Now take your red wine and go ahead and put it in there and uh, go ahead and saute that red wine in with your mushrooms and your beef. It makes the sauce really rich and creamy and it gives it a very good taste. Now last thing you need to do is go ahead and uh, stir up your beef stock again get everything mixed up go ahead and add your beef stock in and this is going to act as your uh, sauce thickening agent so we're going to cook this down for a good 10 minutes and we're going to come back now 10 minutes has passed sauce is ready mmm doesn't that look delicious now we're going to turn the fire down to low and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get ready to add our heavy cream because we're gonna thicken our sauce up a little bit. We haven't added the sour cream. We're just putting in our heavy cream right now. We're gonna get that all mixed up and incorporated and let the sauce thicken a little more with our heavy cream. Now take a little bit of the hot sauce and put it in a, a cup and then you want to temper your uh, sour cream because you don't want it to curdle on you. So go ahead and mix that around, get it like temper, bring the temperature up a little bit so when you do put it in, it won't curdle up on you when you uh, put it into your dish. So go ahead and put that in and mix it in real, real well. I'm turning my heat up just a tad bit. But I'm cooking it on medium low. You see, bring it in a little bit closer. You see how it's looking now? I'm bringing the uh, temperature back up and everything is getting all incorporated and mixed together. Doesn't that look delicious? And the only thing, the last thing we have to do is after we get our sauce good and mixed up, we're going to cover it and let it cook for about two minutes. Now I'm uncovering it and um, letting my sauce thicken up a little bit. I'm going to get ready and add my noodles. See how the sauce is thickening up? While it's thickening up a little bit more, I'm going to go ahead and pair this with some good onion garlic bread. This is a French uh, onion garlic bread. It is delicious with beef stroganoff. Mm, sauce is ready now. We're getting ready to add our noodles or whatever type of pasta you use. Go ahead and put that in and mix it all together. And when you get it all mixed up, we're going to cover it. And we're going to let it simmer for about a good two to three minutes. And then when that's done, you have wonderful beef stroganoff. Putting this wonderful onion bread in the oven. When that get ready, we'll be ready to eat. All right, everybody. Dinner is served. This is a wonderful, fantastic meal our beef stroganoff and I will see you guys next time get our onion bread didn't it come out good very delicious
And we're going to have it tonight with some Merlot wine. It's delicious. And I want to thank you guys for watching. And, and I want to conclude this video with a prayer. Heavenly Father, you are the beginning and the end. Thank you for loving us and blessing us. Thank you for moving across our country. Thank you for being the blessing. And thank you for my Savior, Lord Jesus Christ. 